Everyone has given up looking for my brother, except for me. It's been a month. All I have now are these flyers. They occupy a space next to the lost dog, the stolen bicycle, and other random ads, lost in a sea of printed paper. Soon the first rain will wash the last memory of my big brother into the gutter. That's something I just can't handle. I called the company he worked for, Driver, a low-tier taxi company. They gave me a printout with all the names on it, everyone that rode with Jason the day he went missing. I was going to confront them myself. Seven people, seven strangers. The first on the list was a man named John Reberman. He said my brother liked to talk, just wouldn't shut up. I went out to the destination where he dropped him off, but all I found there was dry oil stains left on the hot asphalt. I had to drive out to the river for Patrick McKenzie. He seemed confused. He told me he didn't even remember seeing him. But told me I'd be in his prayers. Dead end. Next was Chandria Breen. She was another dead end. She told me my brother looked familiar but couldn't remember anything. It was just another random face that entered and exited her life within minutes. Shane Bryant was leaving his downtown office when I confronted him. Too busy to talk. He wouldn't let me get a sentence in. It's funny how people just don't care sometimes. They're too caught up in their own right to look back and reflect. Carl Dowler was the bouncer at Joe's. He told me there was too many people named Jason in this world for him to keep count, and denied ever riding with my brother. I attempted to pry further, but he wasn't having it. Macy Godchild worked the night shift at a local tavern on the outskirts of the city. The kind of place alcoholics go to be alcoholics and drink in peace. Here I was waving a missing poster in these people's faces. I never felt more insignificant in my entire life. Macy flat out said she didn't even remember even taking a ride that day. It had been a month. How was she supposed to remember? How were any of them supposed to remember? William Harrison was the last name on the sheet, and that was it. Nothing else but a blank void, and just like the rest, he was no help to me. Claimed he never called driver. Claimed he drove everywhere he needed to go. He was the last source I had, so I tried to push as much as I could. 
But I wasn't going to get anything out of him. Just too prideful. He couldn't even admit he needed a ride, even with the proof right in his face. I watched the cars pass by the busy intersection, hoping to see just a small glimpse of his face. It's almost like this fucking city just swallowed him whole. A city of rust and grime, broken glass and crumbling brick, but I'm not going to give up. The city is bound to spit him out somewhere. I just gotta keep looking. police found his car in an abandoned lot. All his stuff was inside. His college textbooks, his wallet, his ID, everything. Why here? It was just an empty lot. doesn't make sense. Nothing seems to make sense anymore. I'm finding myself second-guessing every decision I've ever made in relation towards my brother, trying to find any type of evidence of his whereabouts in every word he ever said to me. Last time I spoke to him, he asked if I had tickets to the ball game. That was it. Nothing special. No, I love you, or I'll be back. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go see that ball game. Maybe I'll see him there. <laughs>